What's going on everybody? Welcome to the Ryan Pineda Show where we talk all things money, real estate, and entrepreneurship. And in today's episode, I'm gonna teach you guys how to find a mentor and actually get them to work with you. So I felt compelled to make this video because I get DM'd almost every single day from people asking me to be their mentor. And a lot of the times there's no context, they're not bringing any value, and the DM just simply says, can you be my mentor? That's it, and that's all it says, just one line. And I can tell you, nobody is going to mentor you if that's the approach you're taking. So whether you're looking for a mentor or a coach or whatever you wanna call it, I think there are two big keys that you need to understand. And those two keys are identify and incentivize. If you can correctly identify the right mentor and then incentivize them to work with you, you're gonna have a lot of success and it's gonna be a really fruitful relationship for both parties. So let's first talk about identify. The first thing you need to do is find somebody who's doing what you wanna do. So if you wanna become a really good real estate investor, find somebody who's a really good real estate investor. You wanna become a good Forex trader or stock trader. Maybe you wanna get into the drop shipping and the Amazon scene. I don't care what you wanna get into, but identify what is the niche that you wanna be in. And I should also add, if you're really serious about this, do not jump into all these different niches. Too many people have their head all over the place trying to learn all of these things and then they suck at all of them. You have gotta specialize if you wanna do well. You might be saying, Ryan, you have all these different businesses, that's hypocritical. And I would say, no, I did not start that way. I specifically focused on flipping houses and that was it. Eventually, once I mastered that, I branched out into other things. Too many of you aren't successful in anything and branching out into everything. That is a recipe for disaster and a recipe for mediocrity. So specialize, pick one niche. So once you've identified that niche, start watching all the people you're potentially looking at on social media. Social media is such a huge tool because you can go watch day to day what they are doing. If these guys are active, you're gonna be seeing it on Instagram stories, maybe you're seeing it on TikTok, maybe they're filming stuff on YouTube, the list goes on and on. Many successful people are transitioning their businesses to social media because it makes them money. I'm no different. So start watching the social medias of these people so you can start to understand what their business looks like. And as you watch them on social media, you're gonna learn a lot of things. One thing you should start to see is their morals and their character. How do they spend their time? What do they pursue? All of these things need to line up with what you want. If you wanna drive a really nice car and you want a big house and you're in it for the money and the flash, there's nothing wrong with that. Just pick a mentor who's also about that because they're gonna show you how to do it. Or maybe you're more conservative, you're just trying to figure out how to make some money, provide for your family, you wanna live frugally. There are many mentors doing that as well. But if you're going after that kind of lifestyle, and you go and hire the guy who's buying a new car every month, it doesn't really add up to what you're looking for. Maybe you're trying to have work-life balance and not spend all of your time at work. There are so many coaches teaching you gotta grind, you gotta work 80 hour weeks if you wanna get ahead. Once again, I'm not saying you gotta do one or the other, but you do need to identify what it is you're looking to do. If you do wanna work those 80 hour weeks and go hustle, 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 Gary V style, then go find a mentor who's gonna push you to do that. If you wanna have balance and you don't wanna work that hard, go find a mentor who's found a way to have balance yet still have success. No matter how you look at it, Make sure your mentor's lifestyle, their morals, their character line up with what you want for your life. One thing I should add to this as you're watching them on social media is verify if they're legit or not. And trust me, this is very difficult, but it's easy to post checks, to post nice things, to post cars, and still not be successful. It's not that hard to front these days. So you've got to figure out how can I find out if this guy is legit or not. Maybe they're willing to show you a PL. Personally, with my students, I show them our PLs. I show them the good, the bad, the ugly. No business is perfect. It is what it is. We all make mistakes. We have wins. We have losses. I'm not afraid to show it because I know what I'm doing is legit. So whoever you're looking at hiring, make sure you see some legitimate documents, not just a nice car. That means nothing. And if they're not willing to show you that stuff, that's a red flag. You've got to have some tact when you do it. If somebody just comments below and says, send me your tax returns, I'm not gonna send you my tax returns. I'm not even gonna send you my p and if I don't know you. But if you have a conversation with someone on my team and everything looks legit and you wanna work with me, you like the structure and all of that, you just wanna verify, that's a different story. So understand, if you're asking for authentication, make sure that you're ready to commit and not wasting the mentor's time. 
The last thing to consider with identifying a mentor is, do you want them local? Obviously, there are benefits to being local. You guys can meet in person, they understand your market, it's much easier to have a relationship, but you're very limited locally. Maybe there's not that many great people who are doing what you wanna do locally. The beauty is the internet and technology has made it so easy to do things virtually. I've got students all across the country, all the way from Alaska, Hawaii to New Jersey, and it's only because of the technology we have today. So I think you could find your perfect mentor anywhere across the country with what we have today. So those are the keys to identifying the right mentor. Now, I think identifying is the easy part. It's easy to say, man, I want Gary Vee or Jeff Bezos or Elon Musk to mentor me. That'd be so sweet. Like it doesn't take a rocket scientist to know that, yeah, this guy's legit. I'd love to be mentored by him. The key is how do you incentivize these people to work with you? So let's talk about that. The number one thing you need to do is bring value. You have got to bring this person value in some way to work with you. And I should also add with bringing value, that means not thinking about yourself. Think about how you can help that person, the mentor. Too many people I see have this victim mentality. Oh, he should help me. My life has been so hard. I'm really struggling. I can't figure it out. Why don't you help me? Like, no, no, no. You don't deserve to be helped. Like nobody owes you anything. And that's the reality of this. Once you get out of the mindset of me, 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 help me, everyone should be thinking about me, your mindset will be shifted and you're gonna start attracting different people into your lives. When you start thinking about how do I help someone else? How do I bring value to this person? You're gonna get a totally different response and people are going to start working with you. Whether it's a mentor, whether it's other people in business, you need to provide value to other people. Think about this video right now. I am trying to provide value to the audience, everyone watching this. And in turn, my hope is that either people hire me as a mentor, they subscribe to my channel, we do business in some way, the list goes on and on. But it is only because I'm providing value first. If I just went up to everyone and said, you should pay me to mentor you, it ain't gonna work. I need to provide value first, and then things come later. So think about that when you're trying to get someone to mentor you. So how do you bring value? That's the big question we're talking about. Well, number one is you can work for free. This is a tried and true method that has worked forever. It's the reason companies have internships. You get these college kids or people who really wanna work for somebody or work for a specific company really bad, and they know that company will not hire them unless they work for free. And so that's where internships come into play. You're offering your services completely for free in return for learning and it is a great way to learn from someone. Another way you can bring value is by bringing your mentor an opportunity or a deal. So in real estate, I have mentored many people completely for free because they brought me a deal. They brought me a deal that made them a lot of money and in turn, I started mentoring them so that they can bring me more deals. It's a win-win scenario because now they're getting better, I'm making more money, and it just keeps going back and forth forever. So bring value by bringing a deal or an opportunity. I promise you, if you help make the mentor money, they're going to want to work with you more because you have proven value. You have proven you can bring deals and opportunities to the table, and that is no easy task. The last way you can bring value is by paying them. This is where the guru, mentor, coach lines get blurred because now so many people think that they should be given everything for free. The reality is, if you want to work with the best people, you typically got to pay to play. I've had to pay consultants, coaches, masterminds to get to where I'm at today. And I couldn't have just got in there by not paying them. There was no way I could add value to them. They didn't need me to work for them. I didn't have any opportunities to give them. So the only way to get their guidance was to pay them and I'm perfectly fine with that. If you truly think this mentor is going to get you over the top and get you to where you wanna be, the amount they're charging you isn't gonna be nearly as much as what it's going to bring you. Because what you learn from them will last you a lifetime. And that initial cost to learn the information and build a relationship with them, it ain't even close. So do not be afraid to pay mentors. And you might be wondering, Ryan, how do I bring you value? I'll tell you, number one, I don't let people work for me for free. I don't do the internship model because I have so many people asking that. I don't even have a big enough office to let all the people who wanna work for me for free. Also, it is a lot of work to train somebody up so that they can work effectively. And by the time they get trained up and are ready to go, they're already off trying to do their own thing. They haven't even made me any money. I've wasted all this time training them for no benefit. I don't do any of the work for free stuff, but I do mentor people when they're willing to bring a deal or they're willing to pay me. I do deals in Tucson, Vegas, and Big Bear currently. And if you have a deal in any of those places and you bring it to me and we end up doing a deal together, we can work mentorship in with that. If you don't and you wanna join my coaching program, that's super simple. You can just click the link below and apply for the program. 
it does cost money and it ain't cheap because I know my time's valuable and I know the information that we go over is super valuable. So those are the two ways I run mentorship. And the moral of the story is whoever you're trying to get to mentor you, figure out what it is they want. It's going to be an opportunity, a deal, working for free, or just paying them. If they're open to mentorship, it'll be one of those things, and if they don't want one of those things, then they don't want to mentor anyone. I would also add on top of that, the people who mentor for a living, like myself who have a coaching program and system set up, that's actually better because they've already got proven results with their other students, and they've figured out what systems and processes work to get the most out of their students. Versus if you go hire somebody else who doesn't mentor people for a living, they don't have a program set up, you just really like them, you're kind of the guinea pig for the mentorship. They don't really know what works, what doesn't. So I would highly encourage you, if you're looking for a mentor, find somebody who's already got a system in place for mentorship. So that's my thoughts. So to sum it up, guys, identify and incentivize. Those are the two things you need to think about when you're looking for a mentor. And if you want me to mentor you, as I said, click the link below. Also, make sure you go hit the like button. I'm not gonna mentor you if you can't hit the like button. I'm not gonna mentor you if you can't hit that subscribe button. So make sure you do that as well. And go follow me on all the socials. So I appreciate you guys watching this video. I wish you the best of luck as you go and try and find a mentor. Take care.